as Pharaoh is standing there and this servant is telling him this wonderful story, there comes another man. He's probably from like LNI or IRS. He comes and he says, Pharaoh, let me remind you, this man that your buddy is talking about, he's actually a sex offender. Did you know why he ended up in Egypt? Because his brother sold him. Now, who would sell his brother? Most likely, he has some dirt around him. Do you know why he's sitting in your dungeon? He tried to rape a woman. Do you know that, Pharaoh? Imagine now you being Pharaoh. You, you heard about a man who did such a crazy things that has helped this man, and then you're hearing also about him that he is a scandalous, controversial, and his reputation is a mess. What would you do? Would you invite somebody into a court with such a bad reputation to give you advice? Or would you say, you know what? Forget about my dreams. <laughs> Let's go on, guys. Pharaoh invites a man with a questionable reputation. The reason why is not because Pharaoh ignored the fog around his name. It's that Pharaoh could not ignore the stories around this man that came from his servant. What we must understand about Holy Spirit is that many times, not just about the Holy Spirit, but God in general. Before you can get to know God in general, sometimes you have to step over the fog and the scandal that religious people or people who are close to Him create. When you want to know the Holy Spirit, you must understand that people who walk with Him many times have a scandal, a controversy, or a fog around their name. Sometimes it's because these people actually commit sins and other times because these people have a position of the enemy who creates controversy to keep you away from being benefited by the Holy Spirit. People always say in our generation, if there is fog, there must be fire. But we've been in our church long enough to know we can have fog on the stage without fire. You can have fog if you have a fog machine. So the fact that Joseph had fog around his name, it just reveals not because Joseph was actually a sex offender, it's that there was a fog machine in a Potiphar's house called Potiphar's wife. And she created all of that drama and all of that controversy. So when it's right time for Joseph to go to be the prime minister so that Pharaoh would have a stumbling block from inviting Joseph in because he will be offended by his questionable reputation. Do not let people who are close to Jesus hold you back from getting to Jesus. When the short Zacchaeus came to Jesus and the Bible says that everybody around Jesus was very tall and they hindered him from coming to Jesus. But Zacchaeus was not like one of the people, contemporary humans in the 21st century who got his feelings hurt. The Bible says he ran ahead, found a tree, climbed on the tree and says, you know what? I may never be like you, but I will never let you keep me from Jesus. I'm gonna still get to Jesus. We must understand that Christian people are not perfect. We must understand the people Holy Spirit uses are not perfect. But praise God if they are being perfected. We are not perfect. We might have some hypocrisy in us. And we ask you, join the club. There is room for one more. And if you find a perfect church, please, for God's sake, don't join it. You'll ruin it. We are not perfect people, but if you ever did construction and you used those rubber gloves and you did something in the house, you will find something about rubber gloves. They are not eternal. They break quickly. And let's say you go through five gloves during one day to accomplish a project. Do I have the right to make fun of your project because your gloves ripped five times? Of course not. Why? Because what you do is more important than the glove you use to do it. And many times when we see a man of God or a woman of God or a Christian fall or make mistake or maybe the enemy creates some controversy around him, many of us will say, I will ignore everything about Jesus and God and the hand of God because the glove God used has holes. Wait until he starts using you. Joseph had a scandal around him. And Pharaoh had to trust the stories and step over the scandal. And then he benefited from Joseph's life. And all the scandal around Joseph was a pure fabricated lie.